Denning Legal Getting a divorce in Australia On what grounds can I file for divorce? Australian law applies the no-fault principle in divorce proceedings. This means that the family court does not consider the specific reasons for the divorce. The only ground for divorce, as far as the court is concerned, is that the marriage has broken down irretrievably. Am I eligible to apply for divorce? You are eligible to apply for a divorce if either you or your spouse live in Australia and have lived in Australia for the 12 months immediately before the divorce application. If you consider Australia your home and intend to live here indefinitely, or you're an Australian citizen and you've been separated for at least 12 months. These same rules apply even if you are wedded outside Australia. My spouse and I are separated, but we still live in the same house. Can I apply for a divorce? It is possible to live in the same house and still be separated. In this case, you must support your divorce application with an affidavit sworn in front of someone authorised, like your lawyer, explaining your living situation. An affidavit is simply a written statement by an individual, which is sworn to be true. The affidavit may be sworn by you or anyone else who is able to give evidence of the separation. I have been married for less than two years. Am I eligible to apply for a divorce? Yes, you are. However, in addition to the other requirements, you must attend counselling to consider the possibility of reconciliation with your spouse and submit a counselling certificate together with your application. How do I apply for a divorce? You can apply for a divorce through the Family Court's online application portal by paying the filing fee. You can make a sole application or a joint application together with your spouse. If you make a sole application, you will need to serve the application on your spouse and provide evidence to the court that you have done so by filing an affidavit of service. Your spouse may file a response to divorce, either opposing the divorce application or disputing facts you stated in the application. A joint application is prepared by one party and reviewed and signed by the other. So, there is no requirement to serve the application on either party, and neither party can oppose or dispute the application. When filing your divorce application, you should also submit a copy of your marriage certificate and any other documents that are relevant to the application. I have been served a divorce application and I wish to respond. What should I do? You may respond by filing a response to divorce. In your response to divorce, you may either oppose the application or dispute the facts stated in the application. If you oppose the application, it means that you would like the court to dismiss the application. The grounds for opposing a divorce application are that you and your spouse have been separated for less than 12 months, or the court has no jurisdiction to hear or grant the application. You may also dispute facts, example, dates, stated in the divorce application, without opposing the application. I have filed my divorce application. What happens next? The court will schedule a divorce hearing. In sole applications, where there are no children of the marriage under 18 years, and in joint applications, neither you nor your spouse is required to attend the hearing. However, in a sole application, you must attend the hearing if there are children of the marriage under 18 years of age. Your spouse must attend the hearing in person if they oppose the divorce application. How long does it take for the divorce to be finalised? If your divorce is granted, it will be finalised one month and one day after it is granted. Bear in mind, however, that there may be multiple hearings before a divorce is granted. In addition, the court may request proof that adequate arrangements have been made for any children of the marriage before granting the divorce. These factors may affect the timing of the entire process. Will arrangements be automatically made for our children and property as part of the divorce? A divorce is simply the formal dissolution of your marriage. If you wish to make any arrangements regarding your children, you and your former spouse may agree on a parenting plan. Or if you are unable to agree, you may make a separate application to the court for a consent order. You may also make private arrangements for the division of your property and payment of maintenance to either party or make an application to the court. The application must be made within 12 months after the divorce is finalised. When can I remarry? If you're game enough, you may remarry as soon as your divorce is finalised. Remarrying before the divorce is finalised may amount to the crime of bigamy, which is prohibited under Australian law. 
It is important to obtain legal advice if you are considering getting divorced or have been served with a divorce application. At Denning Legal, our experienced team of family lawyers can help you figure out if you meet the requirements to apply for a divorce. Prepare your divorce application. Prepare your response to a divorce application. Represent you at court hearings and assist you with negotiations with your spouse regarding your children and property. To find out more, call us today on 1300 2 Legal.